two sides of a right triangle have lengths 5 and 12. Find the length of the third side rounded to the nearest hundredth. Hint, there are two different answers. So we'll begin by drawing a generic right triangle. There's our right angle there. It says two sides have a length of 5 and 12. No, it doesn't say which two sides. So I'm going to start by putting it on these two sides. But then we have to answer the same question, putting it on a different two sides. So maybe 5 here and 12 here. Um, I suppose there is another triangle with the 5 and the 12 on it, maybe a 5 there and the 12 there, but I think that's equivalent to this first triangle in terms of the way the equation gets set up. So the two triangles at the top are the only two we'll need. So uh, we know the most famous theorem in math is the Pythagorean theorem, and that's the one we're going to apply here. a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the two legs, that is the two shorter sides. And C is the length of the hypotenuse, the longer side. So you can see that the unknowns are different. In the first triangle, the unknown is the C, and in the second triangle, the unknown is the B. So uh, using the Pythagorean equation in this first triangle, it says 5 squared plus 12 squared is equal to C squared. 25 plus 144 equals C squared. 169 equals c squared. Take the square root of both sides. Technically should be a plus or minus, but lengths have to be positive, so there's no minus. And the square root of 169 happens to be a nice number. It's 13. So that's the one side. And then the other side, same starting equation, but now the inputs are different. a squared plus b squared equals c squared becomes 5 squared plus b squared equals 12 squared different equation. Remember the hypotenuse has to be by itself in this Pythagorean equation. 25 plus b squared equals 144. Now we subtract the 25 from both sides. And then take the square root of both sides. Again, plus or minus, but we ignore the minus. And the square root of 119, uh, you would simplify it if you could, but I don't think I don't think any perfect square goes into 119. Uh, so uh, the last thing here is to just type that onto the calculator. So 119 and then square root. And it said rounded to the nearest hundredth, so 10.91.